Hello, my sweet friends. Welcome to my idea workshop. This is your idea workshop. Well, today we're going. Ah, oh my goodness! Look who it is! It's Wiggly Boo! We were just about to talk about you. Look at you wiggling. You're such a wiggly worm. We're going to make our own wiggly worm today with everything that you have in your own home. Not only is it good for color exploration, but it's also a learning tool that goes with our Wiggly Worm episode. Here's where the Wiggly Worm eats. There's where the Wiggly Worm poops. Are you ready? Let's begin. All art activities require adult supervision. Not all materials used are suitable for the youngest preschooler, so discretion is advised. And as you will see, simple preparation is required before passing it on to your child. Thanks everyone, and have fun. Let's get started. For a palette, I like recycling plastic that works well for paint. This one's great because it has a shallow well for water and a nice size area for the paint. This is children's non-toxic acrylic paint that you can purchase at Michael's or online. For this project, we can't use tempera because it won't adhere to the fabric and will chip off. Put a quarter size amount of each color, red, yellow, and blue, on the palette. Grab a paintbrush and pour about a quarter inch water into the well. Next, you will need string. I cut these a little short. Cut them into five inch lengths and put aside. To make your one and a half to two inch size balls, you will need five 14 inch square pieces of thin weight aluminum foil. Grab a piece in your hands and squish it until it resembles a ball. Perfection is not necessary. If you have an older preschooler, four and a half to five years old, let them squish the balls. It's not advised to give the foil to the younger preschoolers. Now you will need a woman's size sock. This is an ankle sock, but you can use a tube sock. Just keep it white. Then just start plopping the balls in the sock. Okay, grab the first ball, pull the sock over the ball and with one of your string pieces, tightly tie it around the ball, making a knot trimming off the excess string. I'm using wax coated string. It's not necessary to use, but it's a great craft material that really holds the knot. And you can use it for a lot of creative projects and crafts. You can get it in craft stores or online. They come in really great colors too. As you can see, this part of the activity, as with all our Giggles and Stardust preschool age art activities, is performed by the grown-up. Please let the child watch and be involved with the setup, but this is not meant for them to do, obviously. Once all the balls are placed and knotted, grab the tip of the sock and gather a little nib in one hand. Grab a string and tie around the nib. It might take a little maneuvering, but you'll figure it out. <laughs> this is the mouth of our wiggly worm. 
Now for the exciting part. Grab the other end of the sock and cut off, leaving about a quarter to a half an inch. This is where the wiggly worm poops. This is a very exciting topic with our preschoolers. It's all about the potty. They are most likely in some stage of potty training, talking about, reading about, laughing about, and even crying about this stage is a major part of their world. Our wiggly worm is a useful tool when revisiting the potty training process, hence my potty mouth. Okay, so there you go with the preparation part of this activity. Dip the paintbrush in water to get it wet. Once you give the brush over to the child, let them do the, as they please. Try not to control the process. The three primary colors, when mixed all together, make brown. And that's the idea. Let them mix up the paint, or whatever they want to do. They may just brush on a dab of red and say, all done, or they mix all the three colors together right away. The color of the worm will eventually become brown if the paint stays wet. Just advise it to keep putting the brush in the water. Then once you have the red on it, and you could always put more red on, then I'd put the blue on. Do, 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 do. Your child's going to put it on any way they want, which is just fine. Now for the yellow. Or if they wanted to add more red, or if they wanted to add more blue, or if they wanted to add more yellow, it's whatever they want. So there you go. There is your earthworm. And of course we want to paint the, the poopy area and the mouth area. Maybe you want to make that just yellow. So there we have it, our wiggly worm. Let it dry, then go have fun. Putting on their own puppet shows, exploring its wiggly movements, or just putting it on the shelf to admire. Because acrylic paint is a thicker consistency than tempera, you may want to be more protective of the clothes and area being used. Thank you for doing our art project together. I hope you all had fun. I know I did. <laughs>